Some leaders of the Lagos State Chapter of Road Transport Employers Association of Nigeria have broken ranks with their chairman of more than nine years, describing attempts to extend a stay in office as a direct invitation to a breakdown of law and order. Well, they are adding that the state government must step in within seven days to resolve the crisis or risk what follows. They are seen and strategically positioned at various parks and on Lagos roads, coordinating activities of commercial vehicles, a separate entity from the National Union of Road Transport Workers. The Road Transport Employers Association of Nigeria, Lagos chapter, holds sway on operations pertaining to the transport sector. But the unity of the association that has about 10,000 members and 170 chapels is now being tested, thanks to a leadership tussle that came to a head in October last year. This meeting is being held to issue a forced advisory to the state government and law enforcement agencies to stop one Mr. Musa Mohammed from parading himself as the association's national president and state chairman. They're asking the government to enforce the court order issued on November 13th, 2019, restraining the man in question from engaging in union activities. We've written a series of letters to the governor, the deputy governor, the Commission for Transportation, the SA, the PAMSET, the uh, Attorney General, Speaker, the uh, Chief of Staff, uh, the Honorable Speaker, and all those that are concerned. But till date, none of them has given us any attention. To the government, please, now, they should come and, they should come and, um, they have screw us. This surprise is too much. If I had to say he wants to contest, let him come and contest. After he has been nine years in his office, see, he still wants to continue. He Accused of contravening the constitution of the association, which stipulates a five year tenure for officials, Mr. Musa Mohammed is said to have paraded himself as the chairman of the Lagos branch for about seven years. According to the members, he has not allowed the accounts of the association to be audited as stipulated by their laws. An angry man is a violent man. So, he and others who believe in him cannot remain there and be milking the association while others will be in abject poverty. So, we are giving the state government seven days to attend to our needs or else there will be violence in Lagos State. They are challenging the embattled chairman to hold elections as soon as possible. They also want the government to suspend the activities of the association pending the court's ruling on a substantive matter. 